Hi, this is Thomas from Apex Game Tools. In the previous video we saw how to set up the attributes enum. So in this video we're going to look into how we can use these attributes. Now there are really a lot of uses for attributes. So we're just going to cover uh, the ones that we chose to ship with Apex Path. Um, but it's just your imagination basically that sets the limits of uh, how you want to use them. Now the first thing to do in order to use an attribute is to actually assign it to a unit um, or an object or whatever. Um, the unit attribute on an agent um, has an attributes. Uh, this component derives from a class called attributed component and you can derive your own classes from this and it will automatically get attributes. Um, now right now as you can see it has no attributes because we just defined the attributes available so now we can choose an attribute to put on our agent. Now in this case we're going to choose on green seam since he is a green agent. Um, so now he has an attribute. So let's get on to actually using this for something in the game world. So the first thing we're going to look at um, is this door up here. Now I want this agent to be able to enter this door, open it and enter it. So let's look at the door. So we have a few doors here and the one that I'm interested in right now is called um, door, normal door. Uh, this is the actual door and this is the trigger around the door that we will use to open the door. So as you can see, the door itself is a dynamic obstacle. And the toggle that we use, the trigger we use to open the door, has a few uh, components attached to it that we will get back to in just a second. But as you can see, all of these have attributed settings and all of them are set to nothing at the moment. So if I start my scene right now, and I try to put my unit inside the room, nothing happens because it realizes that there's no way in there. All the doors are blocked. As you can see, it's red underneath all the walls and also under the doors. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make the Pathfinder able to go through the door. Now. To do that, what we do here is we set this dynamic obstacle and we set the exceptions property to green team. So this means that only uh, green team members can access this door. It can, they can, they do not see this door as an obstacle. So in practice, what this means is that right now the pathfinder will f think that a path exists here or it will see it as that. So if we start um, the scene right now, as you can see, it is not a, a slightly more transparent red down here. And when I say my unit should go in here, he will actually start moving. Um, but in a second, he will be stuck on the door because it doesn't really open for him. He still thinks he can get through it, but he can't because it doesn't open. So that was the first part, getting the Pathfinder to actually be able to find a path through the door. So now we need to open it so our unit can get through it. So for that we have this toggle. And the first thing we just do, we just ignore this up here for a second and we just look at this um, slider. As you can see it says triggered by. And if we put that to green team then hopefully we will get what we want. So let's say play and then we try to enter the room. And now it actually opens the door and we can get in and we can even get outside again. Alright, so far so good. So let's just take a look at this door slider real quick. So into the code, um, just going to find the slider have it down here. Sorry, we have it up here. Um, the door slider. 
and the important part to take a break from it, we're not going to go through the in, in exact implementation of this, simply moving the door from side to side, that's not interesting. The interesting part here is that this inherits from something called an attribute sensitive trigger. So this is a specialized trigger that will only trigger if the units that's, that pass through it have uh, a set of attributes that match the um, trigger's attributes. Okay, so it's simply implemented like this. You will override two methods called untrigger entered and untrigger exited, and in here you can then react to like a normal trigger uh, with a few extra um, arguments. You can act to what should happen when these units enter or exit. Um, as you can see, it has a few options on it. So these triggers, um, first off, of course, it's the triggered by. This is a mask like everything else, so you can you can mask it up and, and have more than one. Um, next, strict match. This means whether or not um, the trigger will only be triggered by the exact combination set up here. Uh, right now, when we just have one, it doesn't really matter. It will be the same with or without strict match. But when we start combining, uh, sorry, combining these, a strict match would mean that if I set both of these to true, that both orange team and green team would trigger this door. If I were to set strict match, it would mean that units with only units with both would be able to. Without strict match, it means that units with either one or both can enter the door. We'll just leave it at green team for now. Invert, well, just instead of triggered by, it uses everything else, right? So this is to ban. Instead of allow people to enter, it will would ban people from entering. Okay, so that's attribute sensitive triggers. Now, the next thing we want to achieve is we want to be able to exit this door here, but we do not want to be able to enter it from the outside. We just want to be able to exit it from the inside. So this is a one-way door. Now in order to achieve that, we will set the same as we did on this, we will set a few attributes on the door. So the one-way door, we have the same thing here. It is triggered by something. Um, but in this case, we don't want it to be triggered by on green team because then we would be able to enter the door from the outside because our agent has on green team on him as an attribute. So what we will do instead, we will set this special doors available to be the trigger. Now only units that have special doors available will be able to trigger this door and open it. And the same goes um, for my dynamic obstacle. So the exceptions on this dynamic obstacle will be special doors available. Now, if we start it now, obviously, as you can see, it is now also a transparent red because some units will be able to get through it, others will not. But still we are in the situation that we can only enter this door up here and we can also only exit that door up there. So if I try to set a uh, destination down here, it will still use this door to exit and go down. Because our unit does not have this special doors available attribute on it. So that leads us to one of the, the other components that you can use, the attribute manipulating trigger. Now we have this trigger inside the room and we also have this trigger on each of the doors. So first of all let's uh, look at the inside of the room. Once the unit gets in here, we would like him to have the special doors available um, on him. As you can see, I have this attribute manipulating trigger. And what I wanted to do, I wanted to apply special doors available to my unit. And I want this to be done when he exits the trigger. Okay, so in the same fashion, I have my two doors. Let's start with a normal door up here this door up here, once if I choose to exit by this door, I shouldn't be able, once I get out here, I shouldn't be able to exit this door down here, or enter it, rather. So I need to remove this attribute I just had added in here. 
So again, on exit, I will remove um, the special doors available. And finally, on my one-way door, same thing. I will also remove special doors available when I exit that door. Okay. So once I'm outside, I can only get in through this door. Once I'm inside, I can exit through that door. But either door I exit, I will no longer be able to um, manipulate the door. Hope that makes sense. Um, so now we should actually be good to go. So now I can take my unit. I can walk him inside the room. I can just waypoint him out here. And he will actually now go through that door down there. If I click again, well, he no longer has access to open this door, so he will um, go out. And the same if I put him outside again. He will have had those removed. And we can also see that on the agent himself, because you can see the attributes, um, as you can see here, now they are mixed, because he now has both of these. And when he gets outside, he will have one removed again. So he will go back to on green team. So that was it for um, setting up attributes and using them. Um, with in conjunction with dynamic obstacles um, but as I said at the beginning of the videos you can really use them for a lot of different things not only doors they can be used for a bundle of things so just use your imagination um, and that's it for attributes